What is up guys, we are in San Diego right now. My best mate's never been to San Diego before, so we've got a couple of blokes from Campbelltown, New South Wales, out in San Diego, California. We're gonna take a tour of the USS Midway. It's like a decommissioned Navy ship. And uh, yeah, had to wear the TNs today because we're gonna be doing a lot of walking, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoy the video. The lady for my tripod was nunchucks in my bag here. She goes, is that nunchucks? I was like, nah, it's a camera tripod. It's a big ship, massive ship. Welcome aboard, sailor. Oh, it's this way. We've gone the wrong way. Nice brown and scrambled eggs. You want some bacon? Any vegan options? No. Any vegan options on board, sir? No. No. <laughs> I don't think I could be in the navy. Look how my head's nearly hitting the roof. You couldn't be in any fucking thing that requires labour. <laughs> There's a bloke in this one though. Oh yeah, he's it reading up on... Like, it kind of looks like Andy Warhol a little it bit. It does look like Andy Warhol. He's reading up on Judaism, Catholicism, Hinduism, Islam, Hinduism. Buddhism. Protest what's that last one? Protestantism. Protestantism. Oh, there's a bloke oh, down on the deck there. You're going about to get NJP'd. This is where you come into and they go, we're going to NJP you because you're getting too drunk on the ship. What is NJP? Non-judicial punishment. You've got to send off. You got to send off an email off the ship. You want to go on Craigslist and look at some cars to buy once you once you landed in port. This is where the executive officer stays and he watches his uh, Jag. Anybody remember that show from the nineties? Jag. Yeah, is that the Dunny? Dunny and Shower. He's got his own Dunny and Shower. Not bad, isn't it? You want to get your hair cut, mate? You come and see this bloke and put your name on the list? God, he's busy with appointments, look. He does the same haircut, though. Yeah, you're doing the same. Yeah, he can knock him out. You can come here and get your hair cut on board, mate. And then in here. What is this joint here? Oh, this is like, I need a new pillow because some bloke's pissed on it. Yeah. I need to get me a new pillow, sir. <laughs> I've hit my head on the roof like two times now. Jamie just hit his head right now. We're in the laundry room. Look at that. Come here and you get your stuff. Fine. Some starch. Some starch spray. Starch. Yeah. This bloke's having to clean. Scrub the scrub the floor with a toothbrush. He's done. That's a. That's that's a. Yeah. If you've been NJP'd for something, they're gonna make you scrub the floor with a toothbrush. Imagine if it was a real bloke. His head just popped up. <laughs> Excuse me. Some bloke's having a shower. He's left his pluggers out there. Some bloke's having a bog. Look, that's the side of his leg. Excuse me, mate. You're going to be much longer in there. Holding a bog in. So these tiles here, basically, if you step on the yellow tile, this bloke will tell you to nick off. But if you were to step on the red tile here, you could draw his weapon at you. That's what it's saying, basically. Let's read the plaque. It says here, it says the it, they were strict. So treading on the yellow deck, is a, you get a warning and then you get on the raid, he'll pull his weapon out on you. These are the blokes the in charge of uh, loading boxes and stuff. Yeah. They're pretty sick beanie. Look, he's got the paperwork there to go. Yeah, we got to get these fleshies. We've got beef from Boise, Idaho. We've got to get it loaded. Boys? Yeah, Boise? Boise. Boise. Boise, Idaho. These Idaho. blokes are in charge of your, your, your pay packet. So you get, come here and you get your pay. And then uh, you get off the ship and you get tattooed and you drink and you run pros in Hawaii. Oh, do they operate on people? I didn't know they could operate on a ship. Yeah. How does the ship moves around though? Yeah. He's getting in full operation. Look. Look at all the tools this they got out. Doctors. Yeah, but the ship moves around in that. Oh, look, there's, this, we're in the sick bay right now. So if you're a sick cunt, they'll send you here. I'm in the sick bay here. Well, big sick bay. Bigger than the sick bay I had at primary school. You got a little TV here, you can watch MASH. You can watch your MASH on or your JAG or Top Gun. I didn't see this last time. They have an ICU on board the ship. Look at that. This poor bloke's been stitched up. He's in the ICU trying to get well. And he's got the nurse here looking after him. Wow. This bloke's in here. He's got a banged up hand. He's getting his hand looked at by the doctor. Hopefully he's all right. There's an X-ray room too. Look, he's getting his ankle x-rayed because he rolled it skating on deck. Look at that. 
They got everything on this ship. Yeah, it's a fucking ship for the military. <laughs> you didn't know that they... Look at this computer. Look at it. What it's year is it? IBM. Technology, mate. Uh, it doesn't have a year on it. 1993, May 1993. Wow. We're at the dentist on the ship. And uh, yeah, doing a bit of work, getting blokes' teeth fixed. Got his rotary tool there. Oh, he stopped. Imagine if his head turned. <laughs> oh, his legs are moving. Yeah, he's, got, he's getting a bit of work done and he's kicking his legs. Got the dentist and the dental assistant here. Probably getting a root canal done. Don't they pull your wisdom teeth out when you join the military? Uh, Pretty I sure they know. do. They did it to my uncle back in Oz. Pulled his wisdom teeth out. Have a look at this guy's Barry Beef. Missing a few there. I've got a mate, he was in the Navy for 10 years. Shouts out to Jesse. But yeah, we're in the metal room here. And uh, they need to be able to produce every little part that's on this ship. So if something breaks and needs to be replaced, they come to the metal room and they have all the lathes and everything to make it. So everything's like on board. It's all like a big independent ship. Blows my mind. We're in the Briggs guys. This is where they send you. If you've done something and they're not going to NJP you, they're going to lock you up for a bit. You'll go in front of a, a court, a Navy court. Look at that. There. Yeah, look, the ship's brig. It's a jail reserved for serious disciplinary cases. Oh, it was run by the Marines until the 70s and the Navy Master at Arms rate was established. There you go. So there'd be Marines in here holding in the brig. Look, here's a bloke here. He's a bit down on his luck. He's in jail. He's shot. Oh, look, the Dunny's right near the door. Yeah. Have some privacy for That's the poor blokes. Yeah. Look, and there's a mirror too. You can't. You can't do anything, he's locked up. He's done nothing. Yeah, he's one they've left open. This must have just been for like normal sort of shit. Yeah. That's like serious. They've got these big mirrors here so they can, the guards can see you at any time. Come in and check what you're doing. Yeah, watch your head. We keep hitting our heads. We're on the flight deck right now, guys. Check it out. This is where they landed and planes took off, right here. Remember, we talk all black, it's water. Yep. Southern Persian Gulf, this is the radar generated by the Midway. This is Saudi Arabia. All right. This is Iran. All right. This is Qatar. Oh, hello, and welcome to the captain's cabin. I'm getting caught up on some paperwork and have to get up to the bridge soon, but it's great to have you aboard as my guest. Uh, I understand you've seen a fair share of our floating city here. You know, we have over 4,500 sailors, chiefs, and officers aboard. How's this for San Diego? You've got two blokes out on the jet skis. He's ripping doughies. Mate, you're next to a war museum. Have some respect, mate. What are you doing? We just spent a good three hours in there, wasn't it? We did, we did a couple tours. There was a tour where the old boy took a shine to Jamie and got him got him doing stuff I don't know what it is but we keep running into well I keep running into Aussies in this country we just ran into a young bloke just now and it was almost instant Aussie banter like I go where are you from he's like sunny coast and, and it was just on he was giving a shit about being from Sydney Jamie was giving him shit about being from the sunny coast it's that it's that Australian larrikin kind of attitude you know if you're from Australia You'd know what I mean, mate. You'd know what a big bean, you know? You'd, you'd know what I mean if you know what I'm talking about. You'd understand. But just goes to show you, you could go anywhere in the world, run into another Aussie, and it's almost an instant thing, you know? It's sick. I like it. I think that's what's special about being Australian. So we're taking a walk right now to the big kissing sailor. Big 50-foot kissing sailor. So here is a kissing sailor. So after the war had ended, Everyone was so happy. And this apparently this happened in New York. A bloke just grabbed a random woman. Yeah, well, it did happen in New York. A bloke just grabbed a random woman and kissed her. And there was a photographer there, took the photo. Very famous photo. Apparently it was just a random bird too. He just grabbed the closest bird and just pashed her. Yeah. These days that would be sexual assault. You've got the Pacific Ocean here and all the surrounding countries. You've got Oz here too. Look how they've done Tassie. Missing. Tasmania. Where is it? 
gone. So we've got a good 0.3 mile walk to go get some burgers. So we're hungry. Luckily we wore the right shoes to be walking in. Look at that, synchronized Entes. Entes. You only know what I'm talking about if you're from Sydney. <laughs> yeah, we got the burgers for lunch. And uh, Jamie goes, can I get some tomato so uh, ketchup please? <laughs> And this is the uh, tomato sauce here. My phone's about to die, so back on the camera. We're taking a bit of a stroll down to the Padres home ground. Jamie wants to get a photo of the stadium and we'll see what other mischief two blokes in San Diego can get up to. <laughs> All right, update. We've got, we found some birds and trying to get my bird going. Trying to ride these birds down to Petco Park. <clears throat> Jamie's a baseball fan. Who do you go for again? Red Sox. He goes to the Red Sox. All you Boston blokes, if you're watching, Shimbalana is a Red Sox fan. Just two blokes out in San Diego on the birds. Come back, you dog. <laughs> you're going faster than me. Whoa, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. I need a chest cam. This is the Padres home ground, guys. Petco Stadium. I'm assuming Petco have uh, sponsored it. Yeah. How long do they sponsor it for? It's oh, like it's been Petco for a while. It's been Petco for a minute, huh? If you're a baseball fan, you can yeah come here and watch the Padres. Jamie's going over the road here to get a better photo, but I think we're going to ride these birds back to the car. So we don't want to walk back. We've been walking all day. We walked for three hours on that ship. On your way back, bring me his son. 